Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news. One UI beta number eight is now out for Samsung Galaxy S23 series. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on. So first and foremost, let's go to my settings real quick. I'm gonna go all the way down, tap on software update and tap on last update. And you can see that we have one UI version 6.0. This one is ending in BWJI. The size of this one is a little bit smaller than previous versions. It is 466 megabytes and it does have the October 1st security patch. So let's see what's going on. Now you can see over here that we don't really have any details as to exactly what is going on. And that is because we don't have new features what we have is we have the overall software stability. That means the system is now behaving more smooth overall and it's more stable overall. That also means it is also much more closer to the stable release, which I think should now be coming within a week or so. Also, you can go to the settings, go all the way down, all right, and tap on about phone, go into software information, and when you scroll down, you can see over here, it says Android security patch. You can click to see if there's anything new happening uh, with the uh, security patches. Not that important on a beta phone. Tap on read, tap on Samsung right here, and get all the details on exactly what new patches we have to software vulnerabilities. Now beyond that, one thing I've noticed is that the animations have become a little bit smoother this time around. So let's launch some animations, see how that behaves. Okay, nice and fluid. It's a, it is a little bit better than uh, the previous version. Let's tap on some folders. Okay, that is the same, nothing different here. All right. And because this is one of the highlights of the One UI 6.0, this area, I always check the animation right over here. So that is very nice, smooth, and fluid. Let me tap on edit, see what happens. Very nice. It goes nicely to the edit screen. Now we do have a bug here. So hopefully they fix this in the final version, but there actually is a clock widget in the background here that is not appearing with this beta. So if I press and hold, you can see we have the analog clock widget settings. If I tap on the settings, it goes into the settings. I can change uh, between different, different clocks here. But even when I save it, it doesn't seem to appear for some reason. So that is a bug that probably needs to be fixed as well. Uh, let me remove this and try to re-add it, see what happens. Tap on widgets, go into clock. Okay, let's grab this guy, dump it right here. All right, so it looks like it is appearing when I re-dump it, but it disappeared when I was using the existing clock widget. So I do believe that at this point, this thing is very, very close to the final stable release. Like I said, I anticipate within a week or so, okay? Now, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, just a couple of things I'm gonna show you guys is, when you do go to the settings, there's a change with One UI 6.0 as far as the setting structure is concerned. Most of it is same top to bottom as One UI 5.1. But if you scroll down here, you can see under display, they have added the battery separately. I like the fact that you can just go to the settings and access the battery right away without any issues, and you can access all the battery-related settings. Uh, you can also go down to what used to be called battery and device care, which is now just called device care, and you can see it doesn't say battery. But when I do go inside, the battery is still there. This is the same area I can access from the other settings screen. So just a subtle difference, the device care has been renamed to just device care, and then the battery is right here as well. Uh, but beyond that, like we said, you know, no new features were added. The phone is acting smooth as butter. We are very close to the official release. If you have noticed something new, drop a comment down below and let me know. But for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?